Hey all, Brent here with a new review of something kind of new for us. Uh, this is actually a product review of the Gundam 00 DVD Part 1 release. I'm going to sort of zoom in on that a little bit. Um, and this is where I'm, put, I'm uh, reviewing just the product, just the release itself, not the 00 itself. As you can see, it's a, quite a stylish, uh, rather simple, but just very uh, powerful cover image there, 00 at the bottom. And here's what it looks like, it looks like on the back. Quite nice. And inside it comes with two discs. Here's the first one. Try to get that roughly up. And so there's Setsuna there. And here is the second disc. Bit of lock on Stratos there. Quite nice. This was released July 21st of this year, so a couple of weeks ago. Uh, the packaging is, as you can see, nice, simple, but effective. Um, the show contains, uh, or I'm sorry, the release contains discs uh, or episodes one through nine, so the first nine episodes of the show. Uh, the video and audio quality are quite fine, uh, normal DVD sort of sort of quality. The video could get a little grainy if things were were quite dark, and you know the typical sort of DVD graininess that you can sometimes see if you look really close. Um, but it's again very typical DVD quality, no complaints whatsoever. Uh, you'd only get better quality, frankly, on Blu-ray. The dub I want to talk about, Gundam typically gets pretty mediocre dubs. Um, some of the performances are good, some of the performances are not so good. Um, I watched the dub on Sci-Fi Channel uh, when it first came up, and I was like, eh. Uh, but then I tuned in later, and I think the, the actors who had some time with their roles really got into their roles and really got it. And after a few episodes with that role, I, I felt that I, I, I totally bought those voices. So the dub does get better as time goes on, the English dub, of course. The Japanese dub, I love. And there's like no bad voices in there, in my opinion. Um, but then I'm not Japanese, so whatever. Um, the sub, no problems. I watched this, this show fan subbed initially because I just had to. And the subs here seemed accurate, reasonable, you know, no, no complaints there. Uh, the extras are pretty typical DVD extras. Uh, a few Japanese promotional videos, which are basically just clip shows, uh, and just you know, a couple minutes long. And uh, there's uh, one or two that show some stats for like the mecha and for some of the characters and some brief bio stuff. Nothing new, nothing you wouldn't see on GundamOfficial.com, for example. But, uh, it, you know, fine. A couple of, couple of those on there. You also get the standard text list opening and ending uh, videos and uh, a few trailers for other Bandai shows. I would like to see more extras on here simply because Gundam typically results in lots of extras. I mean, you know, Bandai and Sunrise are typically churning out lots of images for you know, New Type and, and all the various magazines and such. So you'd think there'd be a lot of like artwork and, and such out there and character sketches and so forth. So I, it would be nice to have seen more of that on these DVDs. Um, but I'm not one of these people who need, I mean, these are literally extras. I'm paying for the show, not for, you know, a character sketch. Um, but it would be nice to have some more of this stuff on the, on the DVDs. Um, and that's about it for the content. I mean, really, it's just it's the, the, the packaging and the extras and the, the episodes. Um, I do want to note that the menus are nicely designed and laid out and very logical in terms of navigating them around. I've seen some really weird menus. And these are just very, again, simple but effective. Uh, I also want to note, as typical for a Bandai release, all of the uh, prologue or the intro material, which shows like um, the copyright notice and all the logos and so forth, all completely skippable. Hit the menu button, you can go right to the menu. Thank you so much. I get so freaking tired of having to spend you know several minutes of my life watching a logo sparkle across the screen. Ah, so that's good. Um, and that's about it, actually. That's just that's pretty much what's what's in there. So. That's sort of our first product review. Please leave some comments down there letting us know what you think of these sorts of reviews, what we should uh, do or change or add or whatever or, or remove. Um, this Again, this is kind of my first time doing it, so I don't know what to put in or what not to. So please leave some comments, and that's it for me. Thanks. Take care.